You have two children, a boy and a girl. So if you put makeup for the girl, do you have to put makeup for the boy? If he wants to, why not? <laughs> if he wants to wear a bra, you also let him wear a bra? If he has moves, why not? Here we go again. So now we go back to the early discussion, which is where do you draw the line? Because you could say if he wants to, why not? And he says, Mommy, I like that pedophile neighbor of ours. Can I go see? No, 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 tell me, tell me. No, no, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Because you're telling me right now the child. Excuse me. It's only fair that I speak. You're saying I'm following your, your line of thinking. You're saying if the child wants, why not? The child wants something right now that is, he wants to kill the neighbor. When do you say to him, no? At which point, and who decides the yes and the no? Casual question, how did your line of thinking go from Don't. Simple childhood innocence to pedophilia and... Because, are these not real, real issues? They're not epidemics in the world today? You Just answer my question. Who decides what is right and what is wrong? Of course not me, I, oh, by all means not me. That's why I said in the beginning, God. So uh, according to your logic, if the kid wants to wear a bra and a makeup, he could. Also, if he wants to kill the cat down the street and go out and do something crazy, you also don't have the right to tell him no. Because he wants it and he's entitled to it. No, you find parents who have no belief in religion will say, you're a boy, you play with cars, you're a girl, you play with Barbie. It's just, these are human innate things. Now, today people are changing that, but the changes are bringing about negative results. So I stick to my guidelines. Islam does not look at men and women are equal. It looks at them as each responsible in their own way with different roles to play in the society. And they complete one another. Without the women, men will not be able to do anything. Without the men, women will not be able to do anything. They complement one another. Together, they make a successful society, not individually. It does not mean that their rights are equal. It does not mean that their rights are 100% equal. That's why the Prophet himself said that the mother has three times the right of the father. Why didn't you look at that as favoritism for females over males? The Prophet clearly favored... Thank you. We didn't see any father say, hey, 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 that's not fair. Why the mother three times and I come at the end? Because in this area, the Prophet gave women a right that men don't have. Because God, we believe, of course, legislated this, we submit, we understand that our wisdom and our intellect, no matter how advanced it gets, it remains inferior to God's. You cannot be wiser than the Creator. And if He legislated this, it's for a good reason. It's been tested, proven to be successful.